koutou e te whanau, kia orana. Hi, it's Fire Beak back here again for another art lesson and I hope you've been having fun over the last couple of days. I know I certainly have. And when you've set out to do your projects, your little creative uh, things that we've been doing, if you've had to restart and be resilient because you haven't been happy with what you've been making, well done. And those of you that have nailed it on the first go, well done to you as well. So each day, if you haven't been joining in with us, we've been documenting the idea, Kuwai O, who am I? And we've been putting it in a little time capsule, a little container where we keep our uh, artifacts that we've been generating, creating over the last few days. So thinking about that, well, looking at our examples, I've put them up on the wall behind me. So we've got our nameplates, which we did on day one. We've got our logo, which we did on day two, and today we're going to look at portraits. So you could do a portrait of yourself, which is called a self-portrait, or you could pick a family member or even a pet. Uh, I found a funny photo actually of this cute little dog, and someone's photographed the dog with a portrait of the dog itself, but the dog is wearing clothes that look really fancy. So that was a bit of fun. So the first thing you need to do is probably decide whether you want to do a self-portrait or a portrait of your family member. And then think about what materials you've got to use. So today I've got my pencil and my pad and I'm just going to start there. I'll be giving you some tips on how to draw uh, a portrait and where things go on your face. If you um, don't have pencil or paper, you might uh, want to use, I found a really large envelope actually, but you could use a small envelope, that could be something you could use. Uh, you could also use lunch wrap, but just make sure you check and see that that's okay, if that's what you're going to use. Uh, the other thing I thought of, which was a little bit different, I'll just slide it this way, I've got it in front of me, is a tray of sand. I hope you can see that face in there. Um, so I've just put a tray of sand and then used my finger to do my drawing. So that could be another way that you could do a portrait. Sorry for the noise sliding that out of the way. So today uh, for our Kuwai O, Who Am I? Uh, I'll be showing you how to make a basic portrait and then from there hopefully you can develop it further. So the first thing we need to do is, uh, and these are general uh, rules that you can alter because everyone looks slightly different. But it's a good place to start is by drawing an oval or an egg shape. Usually um, our chins are a little bit thinner so you probably want to do the bottom a little bit thinner. And I'm drawing mine quite lightly because the lines that I'm putting down today are just guidelines for your portrait. Alright, then we want to find where our eyes go in our head. Now you may not think so, but our eyes are right in the centre of our oval. And that's if we're looking straight on, not from above or not from below. It's just straight on at eye level. So I'm going to put a, a little line halfway down my oval or my egg shape and that's where my eyes will go. The next line that we need to put is where our nose is going to go and so looking at our, our drawing halfway between the eye line and the bottom of the oval is where we need to put our next line so in the middle. That's generally where this part of our, our nose goes. And the last line that we're going to put across that way is for our mouth of course and that again is roughly halfway between that last line and the bottom of our oval. So that's marking out the distance between where all your facial features are going to go. Now uh, what's next? Should we start with the eyes? Generally your eyes have the same space in between as the size of each eye, the width of each eye. So um, getting this in proportion to the face will be really important as well. If you draw your eyes too big, you could look like an alien, <laughs> which could be funny. 
um, and try not to draw them too small so really you've got to do a bit of a guess I'm just going to put some little dashes down the center and then space my eye a little bit out from that center line and do a make a, a another oval oval type shape with pointy ends where your eyes are going to go so generally let's have a look at my ruler and see if my theory is correct just looking at this just under one and a half centimeters oh we're a little bit short in the middle that's oh no it's roughly the same we should be good with that but we can adjust as we go if we make mistakes that's fine all right the next thing I'm going to put on is the nose. So where this line is, I'm going to draw a semicircle and then put some little wings around it to represent the nose. You can put a little light line around there. And um, these are just our guidelines. We'll fill in more information on our portraits later. It's just your basic layout of how your portrait will go. Last of all is your lips, so the centre bit here is where you'll start your lip and generally the corner of your lip will go in line with your pupil so if you think it's about the middle of the eye that's where the corner of the mouth will end up. These are just general guidelines, everyone's face is different and quite often they're different on each side so when you get to draw your proper portrait you might be using a mirror or drawing from a photo and you can really analyse the shapes of your face, facial features and um, do it properly. Alright, so I'll just finish this off. Put the lips around there. I might even do a little bit of detail, put uh, the eyes in properly. You can, whoops, I'll put the pupil in the middle. Um, quite often we forget to put little eyelids on, so it's just another double line there and then you can put some eyebrows on something like that see how you go uh, so the next interesting measurement is usually the eye line and the nose line is the distance from where your ears line up so you can think about your ears going on the side there And I usually just put some wiggly lines because they often get covered up with hair, but we can add that in later. Okay, so now we've got the basics of our face, you can start thinking about what your hair is like. Um, if you think about where your hairline is, it sort of comes across and then down and then wiggles around your ears. So you can actually draw something in similar in there. So you'll leave space where your forehead is and you can draw it around there. Um, now we might want to put a neck, usually that comes from just below your ears, either side. Sometimes um, you can draw that too skinny or you can draw it too wide, so just keep an eye on your proportions there. You can always adjust as you go anyway. Shoulders come out to the side, don't draw them too close in. Take them nice and wide. And now we can start thinking about the hair. So if you've got a short haircut, it might be a wiggly line around like that. If you've got a fringe, you might want to draw that in. Or if your hair is like mine, I'm just going to draw long hair around like that. So just draw over uh, your baseline to have a practice before you do your proper portrait. Now yeah, I need to tidy up my ears around there so that makes a little bit more sense. Maybe put in a line there where they go. Something like that. So those are the portrait basics for placement of um, your facial features on your head. And if you do those and then... Um, Tweak them a little bit so that you can get the right shapes uh, of your face or whoever's face that you are doing a portrait of. Um, another thing that you could do before you start your final portrait, and I've got some here on my next page, 
is you could have a go at studying your facial features in the mirror. So I've drawn um, just some very basic outlines of some facial features and then I've done some that are a little bit more technical with shading. So have a go at using a mirror, studying what's in the mirror, looking at your own eyes and nose and ears and lips and drawing what you can see. And then from there, then you can probably have a go at making your final uh, portrait artwork. When you're making your portrait, um, think about things like, is what you're wearing important in your portrait? Like this dog, he looks really fancy. Do you want to be really fancy? Are you fancy at this time or are you just wearing a t-shirt? How do you want to present yourself? Think also about the expression that you have on your face and what that says about you. So remember, kuwayo, who am I? And your facial expressions might be really important for that portrait. If you find it really difficult to do a portrait from the mirror, another good idea is to get a photo of you or the subject that you're doing. It could be your mum or your auntie, whoever's in your bubble. And draw, whoops, we're fly in here. <laughs> draw from the photo of that person. And just to remember to think about, you know, any objects or things that you might want to put in there as well. Also think about the placement of your composition. Are you just going to do close up on the face or are you going to include more of the body in your picture? So the importance of a portrait is that it's documenting who we are and who we are in this time, this really important time in our nation when we're in our bubbles and... It's quite a, a strange time for some people, but we can have fun reflecting on what's happening, who we are, and making some art about it. So I hope these tips have been really helpful you, for you today, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. So, ka kite e popo, kia manuia, and I hope you go well with your portrait. Bye for now. Yeah!